I'll never be more loved than I am right now. Wasn't holding you up. Good morning, fam, and happy Wednesday to you. This is Dr. Tommy Pringle coming to you again with another work week, inspirational and encouraging message for today. On yesterday, we talked about how to fight your battles and how there are going to be times when you may feel like you don't stand a chance because of the amount of adversaries that are surrounding you in an effort or attempt to move you from where you are and in an effort to defeat you. And it's in those times when we must remember that we have no need to be afraid because if the Lord is for you, who can be against you? Today, we're going to focus on the power of prayer and we'll be coming out of the book of Second Kings again in chapter six, lifting up verses 17 through 18, where they read, then Elisha prayed and said, oh, Lord, please open his eyes that he may see. So the Lord opened his eyes of the young man and he saw and behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire all around Elisha. And when the Syrians came down against him, Elisha prayed to the Lord and said, please strike this people with blindness. So he struck them with blindness in accordance with the prayer of Elisha. So picking back up from yesterday and recovering verse 17, one more time, leading into 18, I want to draw out a couple of more points that may have been missed because this is, this is awesome. Here we see not only the power of prayer itself, but the power of intercessory prayer so that God is able to open the eyes of others and show others what happens when God is on your side. And this helped put the young man's mind at ease and fear at ease because it gave a visual for him that aligned with the words that were spoken about those being with us are more than those who are with them. But it also gave me a visual in that my God having a halo of protection around me that can sometimes be in the form of armies with chariots of fire protecting me. Hebrews 12 in verse 29 tells us that our God is a consuming fire. So he has the ability and the capability to consume your enemies if they attempt to attack you. And I don't know about you, but I wonder how one chooses not to serve a God that stands up for his children and is able to defend us and fight our battles for us. In verse 18, we see where Elisha engaged in warfare prayer by asking God to strike the army with blindness. And because of where Elisha stood with the Lord, it forwarded him heavenly moving power, which allowed God to respond to and answer his prayer. So not only is it important to understand the power of God in fighting your battles, but it's also important to make sure that you have some prayer warriors in your corner as well that is able to move heaven because of their relationship and standing with God, while at the same time improving your prayer life to be able to move heaven to act on your behalf. Allow that to resonate in your spirit today as the Lord continues to shape and mold you into the Christian leader that he called you to be. I love you with the love of the Lord. Be blessed this week.